So in this game, I'm in my Amex 30, obviously, and my team ended up being a complete bunch of morons. So as you can see, starting out, we're on uh, whatever this map's called, Mountain Pass, and immediately I start getting called a cheater. Now, this guy in his M41 Bulldog had been previously following me around, like, for in the past four games he had just followed me around and just pushed me out the whole time now i was still able to perform decently well because he was in a bulldog but uh <laughs> just just to give you some background knowledge like my my expectations from this game the second i saw this guy in it uh were not very high i expected to have a completely shitty game now you can see I'm going off to the normal position that I'd expect. At this time, I was just watching my map, seeing where the hell that bulldog was going. It appears he's not following me, obviously. And uh, first thing you're going to notice, uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of people who are already starting to camp base. Now, you're going to notice, well, I notice that I'm alone. I see myself, uh, 54 lightweight and a 121. And if you look at the enemy team, they've got a 140, a Leo, a 430, a 5120, a, you know, a whole host of medium tanks who are probably going to be on the H1 flank. So um, you can see me, I turn around. A lot of people have this mentality that if they are alone, they need to try to defend that flank. Now, that's a terrible mentality to have because since when are you ever going to win a 1v8 or a 3v8 like it just doesn't happen so uh yeah you can see these guys are going i'm trying to type out for them not to do that like i really don't want this m46 patent and the 54 to go kill themselves but they do it anyways because you know listening to good players is not a good idea i guess and you can see our whole team is just not doing anything so in this sort of situation, my mentality is like, okay, these guys are fucking morons. We're gonna lose, uh, and I'm just gonna try to get as much damage experience credits from this game as I can. You can see there's the M41. This time he's chosen someone else to push out, thank god. Uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, okay, so right here you can see I'm sort of entering chai snipey mode, which is where I don't really care about my teammates. I know they're all idiots. I'm just going to do the best I can to increase my score for this game. I would say that nine times out of 10, you're not going to win a game like this where your whole team hasn't left base yet. I would really say it's very unlikely to win. So you can see I've positioned myself in a position that allows me to effectively use my teammates for cover. I don't feel too bad about it because they're not even good enough to leave base. Some people won't like that. Whatever. <laughs> it's just a game. I really don't care. So you can see me. I'm getting shots on this T49. No, I'm not going to be spotted. The biggest risk right now is me getting spotted by people over here. But really, it's just damage farming time. When I was streaming this game, people were like laughing at the insane amount of farming I had right here. So you can see I'm putting shots into the 5120. Now, a lot of people would sort of be uh, in this position. They'd be like, okay, this is impossible to win. And they would shut themselves off off to any chance to win so uh i'm not like that i generally prefer to be winning rather than losing and like getting 6k damage games that's just me though so you can see even while i'm doing this i'm doing things such as focus fire i'm going for the lowest hit points because removing guns from the fight is going to give me a better chance at winning and you know that's what i care about so yeah it's just you know a habit of mine i prefer to shoot lowest hp because that's what win games going for the 430 there really it's just me chai sniping for now i mean shooting at red tanks you don't you know whatever uh one thing i do want to point out though is while i'm in this position i'm putting shots into people if you look at the north of the map you're going to notice they've got an e75 and e3 something else and a t95 pushing up through the north now i'm aware of that and you can see that the problem gets worse and worse and i'm sort of thinking oh god we're screwed our our tanks right here are caught in a crossfire because they might have people up here still and then they're also being flanked and then we're also being pushed through the north so eventually there's gonna be something that has to give because i would expect our north to lose and i'm also sort of expecting these idiots to die as well you can see i'm just trying to get damage done though i want to try to help these guys i'm not willing to die for people who can't leave base but uh you know, that's just a personal thing, again. Um, but I'm hoping that we can kill these guys in the middle because as you can see on the map, they're definitely gonna push through the north. They've got an E3 and a T95, and we just have a Bulldog in the 5120 who's, you know, might be trying to defend that. So you can see, going for shots, eventually I'm prepared for them to push up. I just want verification that their E3 is in fact pushing up the north 
instead of coming up the middle or something. Once that e3 pushes up, I'll have a decision like, do I want to go back? As you can see, he's spotted right over here. My decision right now is, do I want to go back and fight an e3 from the front and a t54? Or is there something else I can do? Now in this situation, because I don't want to try to fight three tanks like that, I'm going to push forwards and you're going to see that in a second. And that's going to try to, uh, you can see I'm looking at them and I'm sort of worried here. What that's going to allow me to do is I just want to clear one flank so we aren't surrounded basically. You can see we're down two tanks and uh, yeah, an opportunity like this again won't happen most of the time. The only reason this opportunity has come up is because they were so unsuccessful at killing our morons camping right here. So that is that. Uh, you can see me pushing into them though because I don't want to get flanked by the E3. You can see I'm looking for shots in the 140. 140 is the biggest threat here. The JP actually gets a shot into him which is great and then he dies. Next we're just going to deal with the E75. Again we, we have a time limit when we're doing this because we don't want to get flanked by the people behind us. So E75, E3, 54 etc etc. So keeping that in mind as I try to kill this guy. You can see we're able, not able, actually we didn't get the kill, someone else did, but now we're going to have to turn back. We're going to reset the base. We do have an E75, and you're going to see my playstyle of, <laughs> I don't like this team, come out even more here. I'm going to use this E75 and the other teammates for hit points. Now, I know I'm a better player than them. A lot of people like to have XVM to try to understand how good their team is. You really don't need XVM. If your team isn't smart enough to leave base, you know the garbage, so... That's just my opinion. You can see the C-75 is pushing up the E3 shot. I'm loading heat because uh, it's an E3. You can see I still bounce that. That was my fault. It was a shitty shot, but whatever. I'm going to continue to shoot heat, and this time I'm going to put it through the 54's turret. Now, the T-54 has the points, and again, he's lowest hit points. So I want to take his gun out of the fight to reduce the amount of DPM the enemy team has. You can see I'm letting that E75 take the hits. I'm not going to be taking hits for someone who can't leave the base. Finish off the T54, and now they just have two tanks left. So I'm going to lead the charge into this E3. There is an E4 who was spotted in the middle who could be potentially flanking us, and I'm keeping that in mind. We do want to kill this E3 as quickly as possible, considering he just shot, and that should be easy. So we do finish him off. I'm going to continue to push forwards because I am worried about the E4 and, you know, etc. flanking me. So there is that. That shot bounces. Don't ask me why. It, you know, shit happens, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So this shot, he does die, and now we're going to go flank the T95 and the E4. So you can see our T54 in the middle on the bridge there. And I really don't understand why he isn't able to spot the E4 and the T95. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe they just got lucky he wasn't able to spot them. You can see the E4 came up the middle. Now, the T95 isn't spotted, so I know they've got an E4 right here, and I think they might have a T95 who might be going back to base or whatever. I really don't know where that T95 is, so what I'm doing is I'm using that T T54 as a scout. He spots the T95, and that's going to allow me to uh, flank them. So I'm loading heat here, that's going to be for the E4. I really don't want to throw this game, you can see like the hit points are actually relatively even, like, <laughs> yeah, we do have uh, a 121 behind us, but I do want to see if I can just kill this E4 very quickly. Put a shot into his turret, that bounces, uh, you know, whatever, can't always pen. And now we're just going to push into the E4, because it looks like he, or it sounds like he just shot. So we're able to finish him off, and now it's just a matter of killing this C95. Hopefully this replay was helpful. Uh, you can see my team was pretty garbage, and I was able to play to them. One thing of advice, I guess, like if you want to take one thing uh, from this game is play to your team, because you normally the your pubbies aren't going to play to you. Play to your team, because... <laughs> If they're all camping and you're at J2 or something, you're going to die. You're just not going to win a 6v2 or whatever. So uh, play to your team. Don't expect them to play to you. And that's pretty much it. I'll link the, uh, the stats in the description for the replay. And yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.